Hey guys, we have a decision to make and I need you all to help me. Help me, help me, help me. So, whew, as y'all see, we got the phone call about refinancing this good house. The last time we refinanced was in March, was it? It was during COVID. I believe it was like March, April. It was during COVID. We have refinanced from a three point two five yeah it was a 3.25 to a 2.75 and as you see with the phone call they offered me to go from a 2.75 to a 2.25 a half of a percent right half of a point half of a whatever so the question is is it a good deal or not nah? This is what I need y'all to help me with. I have four scenarios that I ran that I'm going to share with you guys. And at the end of this video, I will so, so, so appreciate it if you can let me know what you all think I should do. And this is time sensitive. Um, I believe I need to have a decision by tomorrow. So that's why we are interrupting our regularly whatever I want to do scheduled program and throwing this up in the mix okay so let's listen to the phone call and if you just want to keep your remaining time to the same 22 years seven months then your payment drops from 2582 to about 2384 so it's pretty much almost exactly 200 dollars a month okay on the payment like you say and over the life of the loan, that will add up to be over $53,000. And so all you have to do is need to email you over electronic documents. And you just electronically sign them, sign uh, final paperwork after a few weeks. You're going to get another month off that you don't have to make a monthly payment. And then it starts back over with us. Okay, so what's the catch? Um, there's not really a catch. Uh, we just do it to retain your business. Uh, you know, the rates, we've done it, you know, with you obviously before. So the rates have gone lower. So you can take advantage of the lower rates. Okay, so do I have to pay any, like, is this a whole closing situation? Is this a, do I have to pay any um, fees? Okay, good question. So it does look like the VA funding fee applies to this loan um, because I don't think you have any disability rating with the VA. Is that right? Correct. Okay, perfect. So the VA funding fee does apply. So it's about $1,600 uh, that's financed into the loan. And then right now Freedom does have another fee, which is the same, another $1,600 financed into the loan. So... It's going to be about $3,300 financed into the loan. So zero money out of pocket. And then, you know, it does save you over $50,000 over the life of the loan. And if you get that month off, but you don't have to make a payment. So that helps to pretty much immediately recoup most of the cost as well. Okay. And so when you send the paperwork over to me I then have time to look it over yeah of course you can review it they are time sensitive though so mm -hmm. um would you be able to complete them in the first 24 hours um I'm not sure and that's because uh, I do have a, a full-time day job and it's like 7 30 p.m right now <laughs> so yeah I mean I can always send them over tomorrow morning if you prefer all right, so yeah, so I I would need time to like run the numbers. So because you're saying like thirty three hundred in closing costs. Now, what if I didn't want that tacked on to the loan? If you want to bring it out of pocket? You can. Because I said that last time, and it it looked like it was added to the loan. Yeah, because that's pretty much what everybody prefers. It's pretty rare that people actually bring the money out of pocket. But mm -hmm. if you yeah, if you want to, so they're just automatically set up to be financed. But yeah, I mean. Again, if you want to, we can make a note of that. Okay. And we can set it up that way. 
All right. Well, thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Thank you. What should we do, y'all? What should we do? Phone call. Listen to. Now, here's what I did. Now, I'm running this with you guys just in case. I'm forgetting something just in case there's something that I'm overlooking and you all can let me know what I'm overlooking or what you think I should do or what you would do if you were in this situation okay so our first scenario I'm gonna run is the current mortgage I'm gonna show you guys the amortize the amortiz amortization schedule amortization schedule and more amortization schedule I'm gonna show you how to schedule and we're gonna see what makes sense so the current thing we're looking at these are my worst case scenarios my worst case scenarios mean that if this is what we're rolling with from here on out and we're not making anything extra no extra payments to the principal what do how do the numbers look okay so the current mortgage has a current interest rate of 2.75. In this scenario, I'm not adding any future extra payments, but what you do see is the future payments that I had already made. This scenario runs from May of 2020, so you see that all the additional payments that I had already made, plus the closing cost on this new loan will be $3,300. That is for the VA funding fee, and that is for a closing cost that the bank is charging this go round. Okay. And what I'm doing in this scenario is adding that extra $3,300. So if I don't pay it to pay closing costs, I can add it to the principal. So that's why we see that here for the December payment. Okay. So with this scenario and not making any extra payments for the life of the loan, we see that this payment will be paid off December of 2040. The loan has already been reduced by 28 months. And with this extra payment, I would have paid $106,666 in interest. And this would have saved me a total of $22,585 in interest. That's as it stands. Nothing extra paid. Worst case scenario. Okay. With this new loan of the 2.25 interest rate, she says that it should drop my monthly payment by $200. Okay. Now, I would have to pay, again, $3,300 in closing costs. I calculated that with a saving of $200 per month, it will take me approximately 16 months to recoup that $3,300 in closing costs, okay? But lucky for me, I actually saved money so that I can take advantage of opportunity. If indeed we say that this is an opportunity, so technically, I would just pull that money from my savings account and I would pay that $3,300 up front. I would not tack it onto the loan, okay? So just know that. But just know that also for me to recoup that investment, it would take approximately 16 months if we were recouping it at a rate of $200 per month, okay? So we won't be adding anything extra to the loan, all right? So with the 2.25 case scenario, this is scenario number two. What I did here is I added that additional $200 that I would be saving to the principal because I believe that even in refinancing, the only thing I'm going to do is switch up what I was paying in interest and now add that to the principal payment. So we put an extra $200 down for the life of the loan. And what we see here is that I would have this loan, if nothing else was paid in addition, I would have this loan paid off in July of 2040. This will be five months earlier than the first scenario where the interest rate is 2.75. However, remember, I'm buying this loan for $3,300. So what it would mean is that I would pay $79,114 in interest over the life of the loan. And this means that it says here that my total saved would be $13,704. That's what I would save in interest doing it this way. However, if we subtract that $3,300, technically I'm only saving $10,404. But if we compare the first scenario with the second scenario, so not only will I be paying it off five months earlier, but I would also have saved 
$27,552 in interest. But again, if we deduct that $3,300 investment that I'm buying this loan for, it's really a total savings of $24,252, okay? That's scenario one, scenario two. Now, let's look at scenario three. Scenario three is me keeping my current mortgage and these are my best case scenarios because these are the scenarios where I would actually be adding a lot extra to my monthly payments, to my monthly principal to pay down the loan faster, okay? So in this scenario, I do not refinance. So I keep my 2.75, my 2.75 interest rate and then I would make my extra payments. So what we see here is the payments that I have already made up until now. And then in December, I have a payment, but I also added that 3,300 principal payment to this payment. Because clearly, if I can afford to pay that refinance, I can afford to tack that onto the principal of the house as well, right? And so with that and adding my extra payments as I foresee, as I project it for the life of the loan, what will happen is I will have this loan paid off by February of 2027. And I would have paid a total interest of $35,570 on this loan, saving me $93,000, almost $100,000, saving me $93,681, okay? That's scenario three. And again, that's the scenario that I'm currently under right now. That's currently what I'm doing right now. But let's take a look at scenario four. Scenario four is me taking on the new loan with the interest rate of 2.25 and I'm ha I I have my extra projected payments in here for the life of the loan, okay? Um, remember now, for this scenario, this means I purchased this scenario for $3,300, okay? So $3,300 with nothing to show, but a new interest rate of 2.25. So what happens here is I make my extra projected payments, and this is increased by $200 because, again, that $200 that I'm saving, I'm going to add it back onto the principal. And through the life of the loan, this actually has me paying off this loan of, in March of 2027. So I would pay this month, this loan off one month after I would pay off the original loan. My original loan, I was gonna pay it off in February of 2027. So this has me paying it off in March of 2027. But look at this right here. It says that I would have paid $24,520 in interest compared to the $35,000 that I was paying in interest with the other interest rate, right? So technically, I would save $68,299. So overall, this would have me saving between scenarios three and four, this would have me saving $11,050. But again, we look at that $3,300 investment, I'm really saving $7,750. What should we do? Because the real choice is here. I want to show you one and two to show you how it will look if we weren't paying anything extra. But really, we're under... Um, cases three and four because I am paying extra and sometimes even more than that. Sometimes it falls a little less. Life be life and we do what we do. But is doing this new interest rate for 2.25 worth buying for $3,300 if at the end of the day we can save 11000 on interest on the loan? What y'all think? Comment below. Comment below. And I know that, they, all right, this ain't even a question of take that money and invest it in the market. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I mean, I've been getting that advice. I haven't done it yet. So we're not going to optimistically think all of a sudden I'm going to just up and do it. And once again, markets fluctuate. I invest a good portion of my income in the market every single month. And it is what it is. So that's not even part of the option. I'm not asking what I should do with the money versus instead of this, either the money sits in a bank or I buy this new loan. That's what I'm asking. Do I buy this new loan that can save me 
anywhere between $10,000 and $25,000, depending on how fast or slow I pay down this house. Do I buy this new loan? And again, it will take me 16 months to recoup the loan. And what that means, what I'm feeling like that means is that I have to know that I'm going to be living here for another two years at least. And I think I will. I don't foresee me moving. I'm not planning on moving um, anytime soon. So that's what that is right there. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for helping me make this decision. <laughs> I look forward to your feedback. Please make your feedback really fast. Until the next video, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already a member of the Fab family where we can make more financial decisions together. And talk to me in the comments because I would like to know your feedback. I would like to know your pros and cons about what we're looking at right now. All right. Peace, guys.